Hi, my name is Gabrielle Perugia. I am an undergraduate research assistant for Dr. Anderson's lab through the Penn State College of Nursing. Hi, my name is Brianna Lockwood. I'm an undergrad research assistant as well for Dr. Anderson's research team. This study was a qualitative descriptive study aimed at collecting information to design a web-based aid to improve decision-making in regards to HIV PEP. To do this, we interviewed patients who experienced sexual assault and taken HIV PEP and providers who counsel or prescribe HIV PEP to patients after sexual assault. Four key areas of concern regarding HIV PEP decision-making arose from this data. These areas were logistical, medical, emotional, and accessibility. In some areas, we found more disagreement between patients and providers about the specifics of what goes into these categories. Regarding logistics and accessibility, providers experienced a lot of difficulty in coordinating and communicating with the medical staff and smoothly getting medications to these patients. Additionally, providers talked about other barriers they tried to get or they faced to try to get patients easier access to these medications. The patients we interviewed, however, said that they received the medication at either a low cost or at no cost at all to them, which was helpful in facilitating the decision-making process and medication completion. Side effects were also an area in which patients and providers both felt were important to consider. However, to providers, this meant sharing potential major side effects and often included the paperwork and forms side of things. While on the other hand, patients who are physically going to be experiencing these side effects noted that information on managing the day-to-day -day side effects would have been much more helpful as they weren't prepared for what they were getting themselves into. So what does this mean? This indicates that patients and providers are not always on the same page during these important communication interactions. It means that providers need to think about how the medication is going to impact the patient's day-to-day -day life when discussing these things with patients. The providers didn't highlight this aspect. However, patients were really concerned about it. Patients thought about how they would make the medication work in the real world and not just in the medical sense of things as providers seem to be more focused on. So in conclusion, there was an overall area that deemed need for improvement within the communication between patients and providers in regards to this decision-making process.